Hi everyone. Hope you're having a great day so far and maybe this will make it even better. <laughs> I can only hope. I thought today we would do a greeting card uh, mixing sort of mixed media uh, with watercolor, I guess. Uh, yeah, so this I did with watercolor and Making a card is so easy. Um, there's no reason to be out there paying seven, eight, nine, ten dollars for for a nice card when you can make them at home. So yeah, so I thought I'd join you today and do this. So this is a card I've made already. Um, there's a little bit of a process, but once you get the feel of it, you can start doing. You know, you could do four or five at the same time. Just line them up, uh, print them out. So I'm going to show you the process step by step, how I do this. What you're going to need is some um, watercolor paper. Doesn't have to be top of the line. You don't need arches, uh, just some decent quality uh, B paper or I've uh, been using this premium watercolor pad from Art and Fly. Like I say, it's not the top of the line, but it's 100% it's, it's cotton cold press. It's not bad paper. So that's what I'm using for this. And some cardstock. Now you're going to cut up your cardstock measuring about five by seven. Those are the standard size cards. That's what we're doing today is a five by seven. So what you're going to do is cut your watercolor paper down so that you have a bit of a border here on your cardstock. Uh, so since my cardstock is 5.7, uh, five by five, Oh, sorry, five by seven, I'm making my um, watercolor paper about four and a quarter by six. So I've measured it out already. I'm going to be able to get two card faces out of this one. So I'm just going to cut that. So yeah, um, if you like doing arts and crafts, then this is a joy, you know, I enjoy doing these. So it's no hardship for me to spend the time to make cards. And once you get it down to a good system and you feel proficient, you can always sell them. I mean, uh, you can always go to markets, uh, just selling cards. You know, I know several people that do that and gives them a, I mean, they're not going to financially support themselves, but give some good amount of pocket money. So, the same goes with the, uh, you get the same idea with a bookmark. You can make bookmarks. See, the same idea on a bookmark. And then you can charge, I don't know, $5 for a bookmark. Easy to make, fun. I enjoy them. It, I love little projects that don't take too long. I'm not one that uh, can take on something. I know it's going to take me a long time. I'm just not built that way. <laughs> so anyway, so here we have our watercolor paper. Ready to boogie. Now I'm going to use, use as what you have, but I'm using a palette here from, who is this from? This is Paul Rubens, and it's the Vivid uh, palette, palette, excuse me, I got from Amazon. And just, uh, you know, size 8 brush, some water. Now, I know people like watching... Let me mix my uh, paint. I mean, it's not a big deal. We're only using two colors here, and there's no great science to it. I'm only using the colors that I have in my palette here. I'm not mixing colors, so. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with a sort of, this is a bluish green. It's going to be our water. Now I could take this down, but just make your horizon here. If 
pretty basic stuff, but the effect is quite lovely. And there we have our water. Not pretty? Pretty, right? Some pretty. Okay. Now I've done the water about half, maybe a wee bit more than half. I've cleaned my brush and I'm going to come in with our uh, sky. And for the sky, I'm going to use, hmm, on my palette, it's Azure. So. You just pick the blue you think is what you'd like to use. Okay, leave a little bit of an indication of a sort of horizon there. And then bring in your sky. This is so simple. So simple and easy to do and yet so pretty. Okay, now you want to have on hand, while this is still wet, you want to have, I just use a Kleenex, bundle it up and bring in my clouds. So it's quite a cloudy day. <laughs> there you have your clouds. So easy as that. Just as simple and easy as that. I think I'm going to bring, I have a little bit here, I want to bring my a little more blue down a little bit. There we go, that will do. Okay, I'm going to uh, dry that and we'll be right back. Okay, so my painting is dry. Now I'm just going to use a Signo Uni from Uniball, Signo gel, white gel pen, this is my preferred gel pen, and dry in our sailboats. And I like to do them at least two. I like to do at least two. So I'm just going to simply So since this is a gel pen, it's as much scratching in as it is drawing, but that's okay. It works well for, for sales. And then down this one, a little rounded over. Now you can fill that in a bit if you choose. Okay, just give the idea of a boat. And then a reflection on the water as if the sun is creating a reflection. And as I said, you can fill this in. Let your first layer dry and then you can come fill it in a bit more later and then another one maybe down here see I'm rounding out this sail where this one's more of a elongated triangle Just the idea of reflection here. Now we can come in with a gel pen. Now I've got a black gel pen here, so I have some other colors too, and I wonder if I should, well, what the heck. Just 
give the idea that there's a a boat here. Okay, that will do. We can come in, fill in a little bit more here while that, since this is, one is dry. Okay. Then we can draw in our birds. I have to have some birds in here. Of course, the ones that are closest are going to be the largest. And try to keep in mind the idea of threes and fives. It just is more pleasing to the eye. Or sevens, if you decide to have a lot of birds in your in your scene. Uh, let's make this one. Let's make seven. There we have it. Just a bunch of birds. And that's it. Your little John Henry down there. And you've created your card face. All right. Now we can get to the inside of our card. Now this is the inside of this card. What I did was I just printed off onto copy paper. Happy Mother's Day. You are special. Or you are special. Happy Mother's Day. And then I drew this design just to finish it off. And then with uh, double-sided tape, I just taped it on to the inside. So, I have a one here that I have printed out. Happy Mother's Day. Now that's going to go on the inside of our card, like this. So, let's just glue this onto our face, our card face. Now, you don't want um, too liquidy of a glue because what happens since you're just using cardstock is it buckles in the back of the the uh, card on the inside of the card you can see where it's buckled because it's been glued on so uh, you're better off to use glue stick just make sure you put lots of glue stick on but it's less liquid so it doesn't give you that bumpy that bumpy look. So, lots of glue stick. And it will stay. Once it's dried, it stays. Okay. Make sure you get lots on the corners. Okay. Let's put this down. Now I have to stand up for this. <laughs> uh, my surface is not that clean. So if you just hold on a minute. I'm going to uh, get something. Okay. I'm just going to grab this. Put my card face down. Make sure it, I'm putting it in the right direction. Now eyeball it. Decide where you want to put it before you really put it down. That looks about right for me. And I use a gift card to make sure this is adhered to my cardstock. All right. So there we have it. That's the front of our card. Now we're going to work on this. We're going to put this inside here, but I'll show you how I got that, this design. It's pretty basic. You just need to, I use my 01 Micron pen, which is a really fine tip pen. It's wavy line all the way around. leaving enough space for a second line. Now where this is coming down, this part, this line, I'm going to start up here. 
to give me my little hoop things. <laughs> I don't know what the word would be. There we have it, as easy as that. And then just start filling it in with these stripes. I just, I like the effect of that. So just three or four stripes for each section, depending on its size, just like that. And just keep going around. So until you have the, uh, finished product like this okay now we're just going to take once this is done I'll finish this off camera once this is done I'm going to decide where I'm going to place that I'm going to take some double-sided tape and just tape it at the top doesn't need to be taped all the way around don't want it to be too long so that it comes out past the size of the paper there so okay that's about right I use a pair of uh, tweezers these very sharp tip tweezers just to uh, lift off the top of my double-sided tape Again, I need to stand up for this. I just can't do it sitting now. <laughs> and there's the inside of your card. Okay. Now, that is just about it. What I do do is, for my uh, envelopes, just for an extra touch, for the back of my envelopes, I cut a little piece of cardstock, or sorry, of uh, watercolor paper, and I make the same image that's on the front of my card on this little piece here. So, or the idea of, I mean, you're not going to get the whole image in that little piece. You could if you were really skilled, I guess. Okay, I'm just going to uh, do that. Just adds another little touch. I think it's those little extras that make all the difference. Again, our water. And then our sky. Leaving a little bit to indicate, indicate a, a horizon. Go in with a uh, Kleenex. Now I'm going to have to let that dry and then we will maybe draw one boat in here. So let me dry that. Nope, not dry. This is just sort of a mini version of of the front card, front of the card. It's just those extra touches that people appreciate. I think that's pretty dry. And with my gel pen, draw my boat. Okay, a couple little birds. There we have it. Okay, I'm just going to glue this onto the back of my card, or sorry, back of my uh, envelope. Lots of glue stick.
Ooh. <laughs> that didn't sound good. I think I need a piece of paper there. <laughs> Let me see what have I got here. Uh, I have a tendency to uh, end up with a dark work surface. Not a dark, a dirty work surface. And then I take the chance of ruining something. So I'm trying to be careful here. Okay, but let's put our envelope down, or envelope, and bring in our, the back of our, there we have it. Using my card again, make sure it's really down there. Okay. Now, doesn't that add a nice little touch? Okay, these envelopes, by the way, are just envelopes I bought. I don't know. I think I either ordered them online or got them at Walmart. Just make sure you have the right size for the work that you, you know, for a five by seven card. That's all there is to it. So here we have it, our card, our inside. Now, I have labels that I put on mine because I want people to know who it is that made this. I just put my label on the back. And these are easy to make too. You get these at Walmart, and they're just uh, address labels. And you print them out on your on your printer, and that's easy. That's that. There you have it. Now that took probably half an hour to make. Once you get it down to a system, I could have done this. And if I weren't talking, if I weren't uh, doing a video, I probably could have done this in twenty minutes. So you can easily do three in an hour if you're. Uh, doing this for markets for sale for markets. Now what I also buy is you can get these online too. Sometimes you can find them at dollar stores also. It's these envelopes, these sleeves, and they're uh, very inexpensive. Let's slip them in there. And that's how you present it if you're taking it to market. Just make sure you get there's seven and a quarter by something. I don't remember, but I mean you can figure it out. If your card's five by seven, then you're going to need a an envelope bigger than that. Not too big. So it just fits nicely in there, and that's it. That's how you present your cards. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope uh, you learned something. That's the point. So just I'm just looking here on my desk, on my work table. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do. You can buy these little, uh, I got these on Amazon and they were cards and envelopes. And I just put something in the center the same color to present it nicely and uh, made these. How cool is that? Now if you're into selling you could do four of them and sell them as a little package. At the dollar store you can get these little uh, craft papers with the envelopes. All kinds of things. Anyway, I hope that was helpful to you. I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.